Hazard Pay is back on, baby. Hazard Pay is in the third stimulus package. Yes, Hazard Pay for public sector. Oh boy, Hazard Sect. Hazard Pay for private sector. Yes, and Hazard Pay tax credit. Oh, my. <laughs> Sir Lloyd will be happy about that one. In this overnight LA video, I explain what is Hazard Pay, how is it calculated, how is that ten thousand dollars allocated, thirteen dollars an hour from January 2020, all the way up to the 60 days after the pandemic's over? Who's an essential worker? How do you qualify for Hazard Pay? Who applies for Hazard Pay? Enjoy this overnight LA video explaining everything about Hazard Pay, how it works under the 2020 Heroes Act, and how it may work under third stimulus check and third stimulus package. Enjoy this video on Hazard Pay. Hazard pay heats up. But will you get that $10,000 from the federal government or will they try to reduce the amount in a second stimulus package? Hey everybody, this is LA Lake with a second stimulus check and stimulus package update for today. This one about hazard pay, that $10,000 from the federal government proposed under the HEROES Act of the HEROES Fund, currently in the Senate, that would pay essential workers up to $10,000 if they worked in the pandemic, during the pandemic, and still working. Uh, a great proposal, but what are the Republicans doing? We simply don't know as of today. Mitch McConnell on Thursday, well, let's back up. Mitch McConnell last week, a week ago from Friday, said we were going to see the Republican proposal for a second stimulus package and learn whether they were proposing hazard pay or a different version of hazard pay, and we didn't see it. Ultimately, what happened was every single day last week, we were promised to see something, the final bill from Mitch McConnell and Steve Mnuchin, and it didn't happen. Thursday morning, I recorded at one o'clock in the afternoon, and I said, hey, they just said it's going to debut later today, and it didn't debut. So then Friday, it did debut as well, and yesterday, I reported that the Republicans, including Mitch McConnell, said, okay, we're going to have it ready for you on Monday. Well, minutes ago, Mitch McConnell said, you know what, we'll have it ready in two to three weeks from now. What is going on? Now, overnight, there's been some really bad news reporting from Broadcast News saying what the Republican proposal has in it. It's simply conjecture. It's, it's what it has done is it's taken some reports from alleged insiders claiming what the Republicans were going to put in a second stimulus package and reported it as fact. When it's not fact, it's conjecture and speculation. So I don't want you to confuse allegations as fact. Where are we at at the moment? So ultimately, we don't know if the Republicans want to have hazard pay or not. Um, what they are, there are leaks about what the Republicans are proposing, and nowhere in those leaks, which are the basis of these allegated reports, allegations of reports, is mention of hazard pay. Um, hazard pay is a critical issue, and what's troubling is that ultimately a lot of these reports suggest other things the Republicans want. That hazard pay is not mentioned in there. Um, there's no mention in the draft of stimulus packages for Republicans of student loans, student debt, student forgiveness, or extending the student loan relief from the CARES Act. Um, the Republicans so far have nothing that, none of that included. The Democrats have $10,000 of student loan forgiveness per individual student, which is incredible. Senator Lamar Alexander, who's a Republican for Tennessee, has, rep has proposed a student loan repayment plan with the second stimulus package where no income would make no student loan payments due. He's a Republican. He's not waiting around for Mitch. So he's introducing his own bill. I love that. Um, Alexander proposed a student monthly loan payment would be based upon 10% discretionary income. Also really good. But what's going on? I mean, the Democrats, for example, for student loan want to have forgiveness for borrowers who are struggling financially. Then we have schools. We have leaks about what the schools, what the two parties want to do for schools. Republicans at about $105 billion. Democrats at $430 billion. Um, then we have uh, Fixing the schools that can be modified for COVID-19 situations, K to 12, 70 billion, higher education, 29 billion. But 
you know, where is hazard pay? No mention of it. The Republicans allegedly are trying to give more PPP to those wonderful businesses that are about to close their door that are zombie businesses, as uh, Kevin O'Leary from Shark Tank would call them. Businesses that absolutely don't need money. They don't need the federal money. They don't need our taxpayers' money because ultimately what the business owners are doing is taking the money, shutting the doors, and paying people and paying the employees their last two weeks of employee checks and closing the doors and going out in the sun set with their nice PPP money in their pockets. What are we doing here, Republicans? So the Republicans want to also propose $21 billion for defense spending. Yeah, defense spending in a second stimulus package. Uh, $20 billion for farmers. Social distancing training, $1.3 billion. I don't know what that means. You can have your own comment. And then there's Mitt Romney out there, who is the only saving grace for this story. As for purposes of Republicans, Mitt Romney's bill is still sitting there. And I have more details about it for you today. As you know, Mitt Romney is from Utah or in Utah uh, and is a Republican. And he introduced his own hazard pay bill on behalf of Republicans. The question is, what is going to happen with it? And, you know, the Democrats have said we're not going to piecemeal things. So, Mitt Romney's bill is, in essence, a Republican piecemeal. He has a hazard pay proposal, but it won't be merged with the Democrats' proposal because theirs is a whole package. They don't have a separate bill for hazard pay like Mitt does. So he would provide these essential workers $1,920 a month in additional pay, maxing out at 5760 after three months. So the numbers are a little bit different than we originally thought. We thought Mitt Romney would, would go along with the Democrats at $10,000 uh, lump sum, $5,000 lump sum, but he's not. The Democrats' proposal for hazard pay is if you make up $100,000 $100, 2019 earnings, you would get a lump sum of $10,000 if you worked a certain number of hours so far. If you made more than that last year, you had $5,000. If you haven't reached those number of hours yet, no worry. You would still get a lump sum and then get paid going forward until you reach those lump, that, that threshold. It's, case, it's based upon a number of hours you worked 2019. 2020, January, up to the present, times $13 an hour. We calculate both uh, normal hours, temporary hours, uh, overtime hours are all included. That was that, but Mitt has a lower amount being paid out that it would pay 1920 a month uh, and would max out at $5,760 after three months. Uh, the definitions of essential workers is also different. So the Heroes Fund, as you know, that I've gone over with you a lot, there's a lot of definitions of who are essential workers. It literally goes line item. This one, this one, this one, this one. The dentists have their own line item. They have really good lobbyists. Uh, viewers of this channel are deeply concerned, as I am, that there's some gray areas. The gray areas are for people who work at Walmart, Costco, Hall, um, CVS, all those type of stores, very, very gray area. Very clear areas that are covered are shipping and handling, distribution, warehouses, grocery stores, pharmacists, doctors, um, Uber and Lyft, rideshare, taxis, truck drivers, all those are covered. But Mitt Romney's, again, is different there, apparently. He wants Congress and the Department of Labor to decide who are, who are essential workers. Well, you're writing a bill for Congress. Shouldn't the bill actually have that in there? What do you mean you're going to have it? Congress decided after they pass the bill? That makes absolutely no sense. Right now, the proposal indicates it's workers in hospitals, grocery stores, food processing plants, health manufacturing companies, and others would be eligible. Okay, well, who are the, other, who are the others? I mean, it's like bad news reporting. Um, it's still unclear if the hazard pay would be included in the Congress's next stimulus package. Yes, I mean, that's that's what we're all shouting about. Uh, Captain Obvious needs to walk through the set when I'm reading these lines from broadcast news. Boy. Senator Richard Blumenthal, Democrat of Connecticut, we owe, more, we owe you more than words. We owe you rewards and recognition. You should be rewarded for your sacrifices you're making. You risk your lives for others. The Republicans? <laughs> Silence. They don't say that you need to get hazard pay. They don't say anything about hazard pay. What they are saying is they are is they want to block you from suing your employer if you contract COVID-19 on the job. Boy, 
uh, someone has their moral compass in the wrong focus. The threshold for suing the employer under Mitch McConnell's um, proposal is you can't sue the employer at all unless the employer, employer does it on purpose. Wow. Really, 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 really incredible. Um, now, the $200 million fund proposed by the Democrats for hazard pay would be retroactive $13 an hour premium on top of the regular pay for all workers who worked essential industries through the end of 2020. So it's a great bill. I mean, it would continue to pay you hazard pay all the way to the end of 2020. I think it should be 2021. Um, but what's going to happen? Now, the new report that's out today, and it's very, very troubling, I don't like to talk about stuff that's that bad of news as this one is, but it basically says that it is deeply worried that a lot of the people who are working as essential workers in grocery stores, shipping and handling, packaging, are lower income uh, individuals and are predominantly Hispanics and African Americans, and that they are getting screwed royally with this by not getting paid. That they that there is a disparity, and that the and that at that one um, group that needs uh, hazard pay more than ever and are risking themselves more than ever are really exposed in a bad way. Long-standing systematic health and social inequities have put some members of racial and ethnic ethnic minorities at increased risk of getting COVID-19 or experiencing severe illness. Um, says the CDC in a statement today. It shows the cost of the nation. Ameri African Americans, American Indians, or Alaskan Native persons have been hospitalized at a death rate five times those of others. Um, Tehran, who is a spokesperson, says that all COVID-19 uh, infections can be traced to a workplace, should have been covered by employers' workers' compensation, but sometimes are not. It's not short-term help they need, it's long-term help. Ultimately, the big concern that I have for you as viewers of this channel is that, you know, you're working in hazardous situations, you could be, uh, you know, exposed to COVID-19 situations, and here you have these members of Congress saying, <laughs> tough luck, uh, who cares, who cares? Or Mitch McConnell says, okay, we're gonna prevent you from suing the employer. Wow. I mean, this is really quite disgusting, Mitch. How dare you sit back and not give hazard pay to people who are risking their lives to work in a job? And then in the same regards, you're saying, I'm going to protect that employer from you being able to sue the employer unless the employer intentionally uh, uh, exposed you to COVID-19. You know, it's truly incredulous. Ultimately, what's happening here is we don't know what's going on with the Republicans. We don't know if they're going to have hazard pay in their second stimulus package. When we know it, uh, I mean, it is literally like a joke. Mitch last week said it was going to be a Monday, then it's on Tuesday, then it's on Thursday, then the, on yesterday they said it's this coming Monday. Now Mitch is saying, you know, two to three weeks from now. Bottom line is when I hear it, I'll tell you right away. If you have questions in today's recording, which I'm sure you do, or comments, drop them below. Please like and subscribe. It helps the algorithm a lot when you like the videos. Always subscribe and get, so you get an alert when a new video goes live. And boy, there's a lot of twists and turns coming on with these stimulus package uh, things that are coming out of Ma Mitch's mouth. Um, stay positive, stay motivated, stay focused, stay, uh, stay informed. And as always, stay at LA for more.